Hello there, I'm John Crow with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we started Victory Road. And now we're going to continue with Victory Road in this part. So let's take on this, um, this Ice Trainer who I think has a Gengar or something, or a Honchkrow or something like that. A uh, Victory Road somehow, and I have a uh, Karen up front, my Honchkrow myself. Yeah. Victory Road somehow, it feels as if my journey is now coming to an end. But before the final chapter is written, I must pen your defeat. We'll see about that. Well, that was a Honchko versus Honchko battle. That was pretty cool. Pell off, of course. Let's, let's pen another Pell on then. Okay, let's surf right here then. And here's a double battle. Uh, let's... Karen and Jedi, I guess. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's take on this double battle. Uh, Pat says, it's gonna be, it's a double team of aces. What, we're gonna overwhelm you. Joe says, we will form a conversation, uh, a combination that's in perfect sync. How do you expect to counter that? Well, with my own little combination of sorts, ha ha ha. That was really cool because Jetta and um, Karen grew level 49 in the same battle. I'm gonna heal them up though. I'm running low on healing items because like if you look here I only have like max hyper potions and a max potion I guess and one of each of the like a moon milk super repel or super not super repel but super potion potion. So yeah I don't know. Let's just use a hyper potion on Jetta. And we'll use a hyper potion on Karen too. Depending on how the number of hyper potions are left. Okay, I'll have six hyper potions left, that's okay. So I'm just gonna restore them both to full HP and move on. So who's gonna be up front then? Um I guess Drago can go back up front. And also, um, since uh, uh since Karen has holds the lucky incense, uh, and it participated in that last battle, we got double the, pr the prize money. In, in double battles, you still get you get a lot more money in double battles than you do in uh, bigger battles. Right here is the team for Dark Pulse, I believe. Nope, it's a rare candy. I got my hopes up. Okay. Ah oh, man, I gotta find that team though. I want to teach Dark Pulse to um, Karen. If I can't find it, I mean, I'm fine with just having. Faint attack and night slash, but as when it, if I did find the d d dark pulse team, I'd get rid of probably faint attack because of the 60 power and night slash has. Let me just double check real quick just so I make sure. Let's see here. Night slash has 70 power and it has a high critical hit ratio. Faint attack never misses, but only has 60 power. So yeah. So there we go. I guess we'll just continue on with our adventure through Victory Road then. I did a lot of surfing though, and, and getting off Futsal, Rogetta, and then getting back on her, and getting off her, and getting back on her. It's kind of annoying, but it's not that bad, I should say. I don't know why I'm complaining, actually. So use Waterfall right here. We already battled this trainer in the last part, so we don't have to worry about him. He had a freaking Gabite that was level 49 that should have evolved to level 48. Silly Goose. And right here, we'll make the steps right here. Okay. So, Garchomp. Yeah. Okay, let's just take on this veteran, dude. I can sense that Pokemon have a lot of trust in you. You and your Pokemon, you need to seem to be a glow.
Okay, kept in mind that that tentacruel is poison water type, half poison, half water type, so uh, Earthquake was actually super effective on it. And then Empoleon is half steel type, half water type, so, and uh, steel is weak against, or I should say ground is super effective against steel type Pokemon. So I was able to get two super effective hits on both those Pokemon, finishing them each in one hit each. So that's pretty cool. If we go over here, I figure what's over here, maybe a dead end or something. You know my luck. I'm just trying to find the TM for um, Dark Pulse, and here's a Razor Claw. It's cool, I guess. Where's the TM for Dark Pulse? Then? What am I missing? Cause like we're getting close to the end here, cause that's where we come out. What about down here? We use Rock Climb up here, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to do that yet, cause I think that's the way out. I think this is the way out too. But I could be wrong. I think this is actually the way out, because if this is a dragon tame up here, yeah, this is the way out. So I actually want to go rock climb that other place, where the other rock climb thing was. Don't jump over the ledges, you're going to have to start a lot of, we do a lot of stuff. So just a fair warning. Okay, let's over here then. Here's another place, I guess. Okay, so, you have to be really careful. You want to move these ones, to the, the, the top and bottom ones first. That's the important thing. If not, you can always just reset the pause by going down the steps again. But yeah, do it like that. I think this is team for Dark Pulse. Yes, it is. Team 79. Thank you, Dark Pulse. Nice. I'm gonna teach that to um, Karen right away, actually. Let's see. Here. Team 49, what it said. No, that was Snatch. Yeah, that was Snatch. Um, here, it's Dark Pulse. Team 79. Okay, Dark Pulse, yes. Um... Let's teach it to Karen then. Probably should be forgotten. Let's give it a faint attack, honestly. Because I'd rather have Night Slash and Dark Pulse to be nice. Because Dark Pulse has 80 power. And it can also make the Pokemon flinch. It's 15. Uh, PP is 5 less than um, faint attack. But let's give it a faint attack, honestly. I don't need faint attack anymore. There we go. Nice. Okay. Nice, we can finish this thing up now. So, yeah. Also, there's one more item I want to show off. If we go up here, around here, and up these stairs right here, we can get an item. Pell off, of course. So let's put another pell on. Another super pell on, cool. Yeah, it's cool. If we go over here, this is like an after game thing coming up. Right here, this, if you talk to this guy. Uh, let's let me size you up. You you're going to become even tougher. You may you may meet many many Pokemon. You'll meet many many Pokemon. That's what you should be thinking. Eventually, the world will grow bigger to you. He blocks the entrance to that whatever it is. I don't know what the entrance to that is honestly. Here's a zinc for you zinc. So let's use it on someone I guess. Come on, I didn't mean to use my D pad like that. Remove my D pad. Oh, I forgot some medicine. <laughs> of course. Here's a zinc, it'll raise the special defense. Okay, so I'm gonna give that to Karen. Cause Karen would need that. She doesn't get special defense, honestly, because she's a haunch girl, but that's okay. Okay, so if you go around here, and then down here, and then up here again, you can actually just rock climb your way up here. And yeah. I think you may need Waterfall to get through this Vicky Road actually, so you might, yeah, you might want to consider that, because like, I think you have to get Waterfall to climb those waterfalls to get to this area in Vicky Road. Top level trainers gather around this place naturally. I'd go so far as to call it the ideal place to train with the best. Trago was so close. 
Try to go with so I, I said it right the first time. Actually, the same. I said it right the second, second and the first time. But yeah, Dragon, Drago was so close to getting to level 50 there. But we're, we're out of the victory road, so, um. Yeah, let's read the sign. Pokemon League ahead. Let's read one of these Pokeball statues, too. The Pokemon League, the pinnacle of Trainer Dome. Of Trainer Doom. How do you pronounce that word? So all we have to do is climb the big waterfall of victory, and we'll be at the Pokemon League. Let's climb the big waterfall. There we go. I guess you do need waterfall to get through Victor because you need waterfall to climb up the big waterfall to get to the Pokemon League. So yeah, you need all those. You need five of those, five of the seven HMs basically. So yeah, let's um heal up your Pokemon first. I'm gonna do that quickly because I'm so itching to. Fine, we'll take on the Pokemon League and stuff. Ah man, I accidentally, I accidentally talked to it twice, my bad. Okay, so pull off right there, good, good timing for that. Yeah. With Pokemon. Yeah, see, Rose is still level 48, while everyone's still level 49 or high. Yeah, level 49 pretty much. Okay, so let's just um, let's go and buy some items because we could definitely use some Pokeballs. We don't really need actually we don't need that. potions. Let's buy like twelve super potions. Let's buy like twelve <laughs> hyper potion. Let's buy let's buy like six more, I guess. Max of potions, I don't buy max potions really, except for the ones I find, that's like how I get them I guess. Um, four stores, let's buy like, 13. For vibes, let's buy like, five more I guess. Four heals, let's buy like, four more I guess. I still have like all the other healing items I have, like antidotes and paras heals and all that. Escape ropes, I have like five, don't I? Yeah, I have five. Okay. Super repels. Um, I don't think I need to buy any more super repels, to be honest. Because after, because I'm just planning on taking on the Pokemon League, and then I'm planning on getting the National X, and that's really it. So, I don't think I need super repels anymore, really. So, I won't buy any more, at least for just now. I have 20 just in case I do need them. So, um, let's see here. Let's see what moves does bronze know. Hmm. I'm gonna put bronze up front. I uh, have a rock or roach type Pokemon up front. Um, and when you're ready to go, you can take on the Pokemon League. Oh wait, it's Sam. Hold it, don't go off without me. You're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here too. Let me see who is. Let's see who is more worthy of making the challenge with the battle. So yeah, Cody, or no, I go with Cody again. Sam wants to battle again. This will probably be the last time we see battle Sam, honestly. You battle him in the after game, but I won't be covering really the after game. So yeah, this will probably be the last time we battle him. He's a strapped level 48, cool. I have a bronze level 49. <laughs> or a bronze song, I should say. So let's go, uh, let's go with a psychic, I guess. Again, I don't really have a rock type or electric type moves, so. I'm gonna have to deal with, deal with what I ha uh, go with what I have, I guess. And yeah, close combat didn't do too much on bronze, so that's good. Special defense and defense fell, so that's good. Let's see how much this psychic does now. Let's see, at least do half, right? Ah, uh, does it does more than half? Oh, it almost it almost fainted it totally. It's gonna be stealing on us now. I didn't know the Staraptor had stealing on its move set. Wow. Okay, it's not very effective though. Sorry, Staraptor. Let's go for the extra sensory, this should knock it out. Okay, Rapidash is next, okay. Let's switch out then. <laughs> yeah, let's go to Jetta then. Let's go Jetta. This Rapidash is like level 50, I think. 49, okay. Let's just use Surf on this thing. See how much it does. 
It should at least. I can two shot this thing, I think, but I don't think I can one shot it with Jetta. But I don't know. Oh, look, I one shot it with Jetta. My, my, I should have really started not doubting myself like that, you know? But there, the Rapid Ash goes down. So yeah. Now it does Rose Raid, okay. So I'm gonna send out my big old fire type then. Yeah, here's Inferno. Haha. <laughs> Rose Raid, nice. This one's level 49, so it's one level higher than my Rose Raid. I'm, gonna, I'm feeling pretty confident. Let's go for Fire Blast. There we go. Nice. Nice. I'm hoping this one can KO it. I hope this can one hit KO it then. And. Uh, oh man, it left in the reds. Okay, that's okay. That's so okay. Shadow Ball shouldn't be very, not very effective because I'm half fighting, er, because Inferno's half fighting type. Well, I guess it's neutral effective, so that's okay. Flame will attack. I should knock out that Rose Raid then. Yeah, there we go. This is next Pokemon. It's gonna be Empoleon, okay. Switch Pokemon. I'm gonna go to Drago for this one. <laughs> I'm hoping that it's probably gonna try to use Ice Beam on Drago though, so I have to be careful. Let's hope I'm faster than this thing. I think I am. Um, Drago's faster, cool. So this will be super effective because I'm using Earthquake. And I have not, I don't even have a Pokemon that's level 50 yet, and he has a Pokemon, Samus level Pokemon that's level 53. In Platinum, his highest level Pokemon is level 51, and that's the start, the, his starter that he chose in Platinum. So the levels d d are actually different in Pokemon Platinum compared to Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, and then with that, Drago goes level 50. Nice. Okay, so not Heracross. Okay, switch Pokemon. Let's go to my Flying type then, Karen. Because this Heracross is bug and fighting type, half bug, half fighting type. So it's four times super. It's four times weak to flying type moves. So flying type moves will be four times, uh, four, will be four times super effective, which is really nice actually. So I'm gonna go for an AOE. This should knock it out in one hit. I was gonna go for the Night Slash. That's faster than my uh, Karen. I kind of understand that. It's level 52. It's level 50. I mean, not level 50. I mean like 50 also, not 52 at the the number. Jeez. Okay, so hopefully this uh, arrow ace will knock out this hair across. And let's see, and it does. Nice. There we go. And I think his last Pokemon is Snorlax. He has one Pokemon left, right? Actually, I can just go in Inferno and use close combat on this thing. Yeah, there's only a Snorlax left. And that Munchox is finally evolved into Snorlax. It's pretty cool. It's pretty level 51 though. This, is, this thing's like big and bulky though. So I might take that more than just one close combat surprisingly. But we'll see what happens. Let's see how much it does. Just to, just to test the waters I guess. Okay, the Snorlax is just like laughing and <laughs> sitting down at the same time. And it's gonna do at least half. It's gonna do over half. It's gonna do... It's gonna knock it out. Nice. So that battle wasn't too hard. I had I was like well under I was like slightly under leveled for Sam or not well, I shouldn't say that. I was like my levels didn't quite match up with Sam's levels. They were a bit higher for Sam's Pokemon. What did you say? My team still needs training? Yes, I guess. Thanks for the ten thousand six hundred Pokemon dollars. I was doubled because Karen was in that battle with the luck incense. Yeah, okay, um I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you. Don't, what does that mean? Come on, don't be rude. Darn it. You watch though. I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League because I'm going to become the big, the, become the champion of the, the uh, to become the champion, the toughest trainer. Steven, you better not lose to anyone before me. Okay. Um. Let's talk to this Ace Trainer here. Let me confirm that you're qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. So let's examine. Let us examine the gym badges you gathered from Sinnoh. Warnberg City is Cold Badge. Eternal City is Forest Badge. Uh, Veilstone City is Cobble Badge. Prestoria City is Fen Badge. Hard Home City is Relic Badge. Catalyst City is Mine Badge. Snowpoint City is Icicle Badge. And Sunshine Gym City is Beacon Badge. Now I don't know why they have to check if um you have to scale a waterfall and the only way I can use a waterfall outside of battles to get the eighth gym badge. 
And I don't think you can even skip gyms in this game. Like, I know you have the movie Sapphire and I'm which you can skip the, um, Brawley's gym and Duford because you don't need to have Flash to get through the Granite Cave. <laughs> but who am I to say that? <laughs> what, what, what are you guys talking about? I don't know. I, I, I said nothing. Okay, trainer, you've indeed collected all the gym badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that brought you here and go for Gory. Well, not yet. Let me heal my Pokemon, though. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon real fast. Okay, now I have a Pokemon healed up. That's good. Okay, let me run it down. I'm gonna go outside the Pokemon League actually, just to show, just to refresh my bottom screen, I guess. Um, yeah. So, bronze, 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 bronze. Okay, so bronze will be level. Hmm, I forget. Oh, bronze will be level sixty by the time you next see him. This is the final moves of the Psychic, Extrasensory, Payback, and Gyro Ball. Jetta will be level 61 with the, with the final moveset of Waterfall, Crunch, Ice Beam, and Surf. Uh, Drago will be level 60 with the moves Earthquake, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Claw, and Crunch as his, fi as his final moveset. I didn't mean to back up, jeez. Gosh dang it. Okay, Inferno will be level 62. With the final move set of a flamethrower, instead of flame we will have flare blitz, a fire blast, and close combat. Karen will be level 60 with the moves, final move set of area race, night slash, dark pulse, and fly. So she already has her um, final move set, along with along with a lot of other along with the majority of my team, you know, my party members. Okay, Rose will be level 61 with the final move set of pedal dance, shadow ball, giga drain, and sludge bomb. And that should be it, yeah. So let's just um. So let's just say that again, but now we'll get the move summaries. Bronze will be level 60. Jetta will be level 61. Inferno will be level 62. Drago will be level 60. Karen will be level 61. And, well, 60, I mean. And then Rose will be level 61. So, Jetta will be level 61, and Rose will be level 61. Inferno will be level 62. And then Bronze, Drago, and um, Karen will all be level 60. I got a lot of training ahead of myself, but I'm going to do it. I'm gonna be ready for the Pokemon League next time you see us. So this will be, uh, be the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redux walk to, Redux walk to get part. And next part we'll take on the first of the Elite Four. And start the Elite Four. So yeah. I gotta do a lot of training, but I'll see you guys later. So this is Janko again. I'd right, like to thank you again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redux walk to guide.